Hi everyone, happy Monday and welcome back to the channel. Last Friday we made a clock and I taught you two vocabulary words. The first vocabulary word was analog and that word describes a clock that looks like this where you have an hour's hand and a minute's hand and you have to count by fives to find the minutes. If a clock looks like this, it's called digital where you have the hours and the minutes separated by a colon. And to kind of get you warmed up, I made a little game. You're going to see different types of clocks, and if you think it's digital, say that, and if you think it's analog, say that. And after about 10 seconds, the answer will appear on screen. Good luck. Now that you're all warmed up, I'm going to show you different times on my clock and I want you to try to tell me what time it is. Uh, if you need extra time, just pause the video and press play when you're ready to hear the correct answer. I want to remind you of those three steps I taught you on Friday for telling the correct time. The first thing you want to do is start with the shorthand and write the number it points to. The next step is to write a colon. And the last step is to look at the long hand, count by fives, and write the number the long hand points to. So here's the first time. And what I want to do is start with my short or hours hand, and that's pointing to the eight. So I'm gonna go ahead and write the number eight. Then I'm going to make a colon. And then I'm going to look at the minutes hand. The way we made this clock was very smart. I can already tell that the answer is 20, but I'm just gonna show you counting by fives. You start at 12, that's considered zero. So then you say, okay, five, 10, 15, 20. And so the time that the clock is showing is 8.20. Not all clocks will have this on the outside in green. So that's why uh, step number three is to count by fives. Here's your next problem. In this case, the short or the hours hand is pointing to the one. So I will go ahead and write a number one followed by a colon. And the minutes hand is pointing to 15, but I'm gonna count by fives because not all clocks will have that 15. Five, 10, 15. So this clock is showing the time 115. 
Here's your next problem. If I look at the hours hand, it's actually in between the 10 and the 11. When this happens, what you want to remind yourself is this hand has not touched the 11 yet. And so it's still gonna be considered 10. So I'll go ahead and write 10, followed by the colon. And for the minutes hand, we'll start at 12 and then count by fives. Five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. So we'll come over here and after the colon, I'm gonna write the number 30. So this clock is showing the time, 10.30. Here's your next problem. In this case, the hours hand is again, not quite touching the 12, so it is still considered 11. So I'll go ahead and write the number 11, followed by a colon. For the longer or minutes hand, I'm gonna start at the 12 and then count by fives. Five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45. So I'll go ahead and write the number 45. And so that clock is showing us 11.45. And I do have a little bit of a bonus question for you. If it is 11.45 and you're at school lining up for lunch, is it 11.45 a.m. or is it 11.45 p.m.? The answer is it would be 11.45 a.m. because it's still morning. It's not considered p.m. until you get to 12 o'clock noon and then everything switches over to p.m. for the afternoon and the nighttime hours. All right, here's your last question. Go ahead and tell me what time that clock is showing. In this case, the hours hand is pointing to the five. So I'm gonna start by writing the number five, followed by a colon. The minutes hand is pointing up here and make sure that you copy out the zero and then the five. And the way we say this time is 5.05. For your bonus question, I'm gonna ask you, if it is 5.05 .05 and your mom is starting to make dinner, is it 5.05 .05 a.m. or 5.05 .05 p.m.? If mom is starting to make dinner, it is going to be 5.05 .05 p.m. Um, because dinner is usually served in the evening or at night and p.m. is for our evening and nighttime hours. I hope that you enjoyed today's video. I will be posting another video about telling time on Wednesday. In the meantime, check out Google Classrooms. My sister and I scanned many worksheets all about telling time into the Google Drive. So check those out and practice your skills and I will see you back on the channel this Wednesday. Bye for now.